Tai Ching Gong is a sacred Taoist temple. It lies on the southern slope of Mount Laoshan in Qingdao, China. Of all the existing buildings on the mountain, Tai Ching Gong Temple is the largest and has the longest history. Taking up an area of 3 hectares, Tai Ching Gong Temple has three courts with the San Guan Hall, San Ching Hall, and San Wang Hall separated by walls. In this second video of Laoshan series, we will visit the Tai Ching Gong Temple in Mount Laoshan. Tai Ching Gong means Supreme Purity Palace. It has the reputation as the second most magnificent Taoist building in China. According to Taoism, the nature is the true binding force that maintains peace and harmony in the world. It encourages its followers to act in harmony with the order of nature and view life as a series of transformations, procreation, and recreations. The peak backing up the Tai Ching Gong Temple is named Lao Jun Peak. Under this peak, following the 108 stair steps, we can find the largest outdoor statue of Lao Tzu. He is considered the founder of Taoism. The 36 meter high statue was built according to the depiction of Lao Tzu in painting by the famous painter Wu Daozi in the Tang Dynasty. Lao Tzu is pointing to the sky with his left hand and the earth with the right hand, which means from heaven to earth there's only the Tao. The Tao here means the way or the path.
San Guan Hall is the largest among the three halls in Tai Ching Gong. It enshrines the three gods who are guardians of heaven, earth, and water. In Taoist thought, the path to heaven is through nature, and the terms heaven and nature are often used interchangeably. Under mountain peak, from heaven to earth, one way maintains harmony. Lao Tzu is traditionally regarded as the founder of philosophical Taoism and a deity in the religious Taoism. According to legend, he wrote the book Tao Te Ching, which is widely considered the most influential Taoist text. Tao Te Ching in Chinese means an ancient Chinese text that lays out the path to virtue. 
Like various ancient Chinese philosophers, Lao Tzu made use of rhyme and rhythm, paradoxes and analogies to get his point across in Tao Te Ching. For example, it says, Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. This is a thousand-year-old Tang Dynasty elm tree. It is also known as the Dragon Head Elm because its trunk is curved like a dragon's head. The philosophy of Taoism embodies the yin-yang principle and thought. Life is supposed to be lived in balance, as the symbol of the yin and the yang expresses. The yin-yang is a symbol of opposites in balance, dark light, passive-aggressive, female-male, life and death. All is in harmony in nature, and Taoism tries to encourage people to accept and live that kind of harmony as well. Thank you. 